Hello everybody and welcome to the third Skyblock video and my god where did the time go? Summer felt so long and never ending and here we are three weeks into school and I have not made one video but but I have an explanation just hear me out just hear me out. I thought I would have a super empty summer with like nothing to do um, and then I forgot that I'd be going to Belize you know the small um, foreign country um, next to Guatemala so you know that took a while and now obviously it was it was a planned trip you know i could plan around it but the one thing i couldn't plan for was probably the worst thing that could have possibly happened to me and it happened on the skyblock about probably a month after the, i posted the second skyblock video and let me explain what happened now in skyblock when you fall into the void or die in general from fall damage or whatever you get to keep your inventory which is really nice you do lose most of your xp levels and 20 percent of your coins but it's a pretty good deal nonetheless and i didn't realize that if you weren't careful this safety net could be just yeeted from under you if you lag too hard and that's exactly what happened to me i lagged and i fell in the void and my game crashed and when I respawned, I didn't have any of my stuff. No levels, no coins, no armor, no tools. And to make it even worse, I was carrying the entire, entire server's iron supply from one source system to the new one, including all of the generators, which cost hundreds of thousands of coins by themselves. So it was not fun. And I was just heartbroken. I just couldn't stand to log into the skyblock because I knew how long it would take to get new tools. I couldn't get back the armor that I had lost because it was like super rare armor you could only get in achievements. I was just devastated. So I decided I had to leave Minecraft for a little bit. And when I left, I didn't really realize how long, I didn't have a plan of how long I was gonna leave for. But I left for so long that I actually forgot about the skyblock, and when I came back, I got so engulfed in my SMP that I completely forgot that we even had a skyblock. And yeah, I took about a week break, and then when I came back, I just forgot about the skyblock for a solid two months, maybe longer than that. And then one day I was logging onto Cubecraft, just because I hadn't been on in a while, and I was like, Oh, poop, dude. The sky block. I kind of want to go back because, like, I'm not, I'm not going to let one void fall get the best of me, right? I definitely didn't, didn't do that, you know, whatever. Anyway, shut up. It's my video. Anyway. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm so stupid. Anyway, I got all my tools back. The best tools I'd ever had so far. And I got new armor even better than the armor when I left. And was this easy? No, it took quite a few weeks to get all this stuff back, but nonetheless, I did it. So here we are after far too many months away from YouTube and Minecraft, I am back in Skyblock and we are still gonna become the richest player in Skyblock. So join me and my crusty crew's attempt to conquer all of Skyblock once and for all. Mm, part three. Okay, so I'm gonna do just a little recap on how exactly Skyblock, how we took it, how what we were trying to do and everything. So when we joined Skyblock, we wanted to become the richest players ever. Now, this was way harder than we thought because not only does Skyblock have more players than we could have ever imagined, it is, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty long. It's got a lot of levels before you get to really having good stuff but we weren't gonna let that stop us, so here's our little short recap journey. So when we started out, it was just one island, and now that's not good because it's small, there's not enough space for farms, you know, whatever, blah. So we decided to use as many oak trees as we could possibly get, which you saw in the previous time lapse, to make a humongous platform. Huge, cover the all from world border to world border, which is pretty small on a skyblock, but still, so we can maximize our land. Now, once we had this figured out, we decided that we needed a better way to make money than cocoa beans, which I believe was the farm we were using at the end of the second video. And doing research in the shop by looking at what is like a good price or whatever, I figured out that melons sell for a really good price. So we began making a melon farm, or more so I began, um, I made the whole farm. Um, 
and my friend Bulldog Tank helped me put like some slabs in so it could become more AFKable, kind of, but it was still really, really hard to do and it would take lots of diamonds to repair your axe afterwards because you needed to use an axe and it was pretty slow because melons take, you know, a decent amount of time to mine. So we were thinking we need an even better farm. And my friend Waffles Chan thought, what about pigs? And I was like, huh? I'm a Technoblade skin. You can't just kill pigs. And he was like, you know what? Screw you. I'm doing it anyway. And he figured out that one cooked pork chop would sell for 300 coins, which is nice, but that'd be a lot of fuel to smelt out that cooked pork chop. But using a neat trick where you have the pigs fall into lava and then fall, if they are on fire when they die, the meat is already cooked. So if we got, I don't know, like 40 spawners, put them in different chambers, and then made a huge automatic farm, it could potentially be the best money-making machine we'd ever seen, and it was. It makes 2,700 coins every second, and that is just, that's just crazy. So we threw in a very well-decorated storage room and a very nice AFK pool, and that was our farm. Okay, great. Now we have an amazing farm that just gives us money bill after bill after bill. Amazing. But we still have the quest to worry about. Now in Skyblock, you do quests to earn prizes, to move forward, to unlock new islands, to blah, 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 blah. So basically you can't get that far in Skyblock if you don't do any quests. So we had to do the quests, but all of the quests now were nether ones. And if you remember at the end of the second video, I believe we unlocked the nether and the nether would definitely prove to be a worthy adversary. Um, it had really difficult mobs, really dangerous. You randomly caught on fire if there was lava within like a 10 block radius of you. I swear that's not even a lie. You would just randomly do that. But man, anyway, so when we get to the nether, we unlock the first island. That goes pretty smoothly and we decide to continue our wooden platform. But after a while, we decided this doesn't look so good. So after rushing through about a million quests, what it seemed to be taking days upon days of playtime from everyone around the circle, we finally unlocked the second and third islands. Now on the third nether island, they gave us a new item which allowed us to brew potions. It was the blazes and the nether wart. Now this was cool, you know, cool, fine and dandy, except we realized we had a new quest farm 50,000 nether wart 50,000 you know how 50 how many 50,000 is it's a lot and you know how many they gave us to start out with 16 16 they gave us 16 16 they gave us 16 16 16 nether wart 16 16 to 50,000 and you know how long they take to grow what 40 49 and a half hours 49 and a half real life hours that sounds made up it is not i i kid you not in even with the times two boost on it from uh carrot boost like that's only it's only times two boost it still takes a whole day a whole 24 voluptuous hours to grow one 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 we need 50,000. What? Huh? Who? Where? When? Why? How? What? Who designed this? Who designed this? Is what we were thinking as we spent two weeks farming nether wart. <sighs> anyway. Oh my goodness. Anyway, with our nether, now that we had this, these three new islands and this seemingly never-ending quest, we realized we don't want to extend the platform because it doesn't look as good as it does in the overworld because wood has a slightly different tint to it and it doesn't give off the same vibe and we want something different. So we decided to go for a four biome split with a giant hole in the middle that would like merge into a hellscape as it descended down. So, at, and then at the bottom, there would be another wart farm. You're seeing that right now. Um, it's not completely done at the moment. Obviously, there's some part of the wall that's not filled in in the hole. And then on the outside of the circle at the bottom, we would do a nether landscape with nether themed houses made of nether brick and like spooky nether castles. And we'd have all of our farms down there, um, which, like I said, we're doing right now. And we will do a lot of that in this episode. Um, but that is what we decided to do with our nether. 
and yeah, it was it was pretty it, it went pretty well, minus the literally billions of coins it took to pay for all the the dirt and the grass and the snow and the sand and everything else, the repair for the tools to build that island. So I'm gonna say all around cost of that island was about 500 billion. No, I'm just kidding. It was about it was about 50 million across the board to pay for that another project, which is a lot. But after all of that, after all that, after we unlocked the final island, we unlocked the ability to fight the Wither, the one thing we've been waiting for for so long because it can give you beacons, and beacons in Skywalker are so nice. You get haste, jump boost, speed, regeneration, strength, resistance, freaking. You can't get fire resistance, but that'd be nice. But like, it was gonna help us out tremendously. And let's just say the Wither fight was unexpected and we probably overprepared for it. So, roll the clip. Okay, while I was watching this clip back, I realized it's kind of confusing what we're doing if you don't have context. So for quick context, we were trying to fight the Wither and we decided that the best way of doing so would be to surround the Wither room in cobblestone generators because you can't break them first try, you have to mine them and then right click on them to break them because they're a generator so it doesn't want you to just like break them instantly. Uh, so we tried to encase the Wither in those and we put it at Y0 so and in a very far corner of the nether so it wouldn't like accidentally hit one of our builds because the wither in bedrock is like bat crap crazy like he'll spawn in extra mobs to help him and stuff or whatever and we didn't know how like on drugs he was gonna be because it's skyblock and this server seems to be very random with their mobs so anyway um oh and if we kill the wither we unlock the achievement to get the next island which unlocks the fourth quadrant of the nether because before it was blocked off by a world border that's why our pit kind of had like a an awkward pac-man going on you'll see that in the next in the next clip um but yeah that's context okay here we go More in the middle, more right here. Dude, I swear to God, if he just stands still and like, like says like ooh woo in chat and like disintegrates, <laughs> and we built the, and we built this whole room to like try to counter his like deadly. Ex He's gonna spawn with his skeletons too. Because 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 the bedrock with her, because the bedrock with her stupid. Over All right, I'm in F1 cinematic mode. All right, go ahead and spawn. Oh yeah, I need one. I don't have one. Actually. Whoa, what the hell? Where'd you get these for? Oh, quests. I have, did you, I have a bunch in the chests underneath my house. Yeah. And a bunch of eggs. Uh, uh, Alright, I'm drinking, already. I'm drinking a strength. Alright, ready, set. Oh shit, bro, imagine you just a set. 150? That's barely stronger than a fucking iron golem. Wait, is this it? Can we hit him yet? No. Oh my, no, oh, he can't break them, he can't break them, he can't break them. But he can break the things. Dude, he punched an absolute the shit out of this box. Yeah, so we need to contain the first explosion. Okay, okay, okay. We, we just learned, it doesn't make any difference if it's normal cobblestone of the generators. So just put this, just fill this back. Go go add another layer to the roof, Brandon. Actually, no, we can do it on this side. No, we don't, we don't want him to fly out here. Oh, I got the star. Hellwalker, travel to Blaze Spawner Island. Oh, wait, wait, we got the island. Yeah, wait, okay. 
Wait, wait, let, let's go. What, what the fuck are we standing out here for? Yeah, yeah, cool. Another wither. Oh yeah, another another stuff. Come on. We don't care, Mason. <laughs> get, get. We're going to check out the new island. Probably, probably just mined it for free, for actually for free. Oh god. Oh god. What is this island? Oh my lord. Where are the fire rest oceans? Bro, I still think that swamp was. Oh my god, pigman. I still think that swamp was harder. No, dude, are oh, you dickhead? Why'd you you body block me? No, I I tried to block it in, but the Level seventy two? What the hell? <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Pretty sure that might be it. No, dude, they have chain. They have chain mail armor. Mason, turn around, 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 turn around. Oh, it's this guy over here. He's a tough one. Oh, he's a level seventy four, dude. The trial. Ah! Can the book get GG outplayed actually easy? What a No, I swear to God, you little bit. Oh. Hey, Joey, all my this <laughs> except I mean, that one. Except, except and that one. And that one. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Bro, you just got dude Wombo Wombo instead of a crossfire dude. That was amazing. Okay, is that everything? Oh no, this was the skeletons down there. Oh, 360, no. happy feet, wombo combo. Ah! <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> as as we as you kill them, bro. As you kill them. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I thank you so much for watching. Um now that I am actually in school and not uh bouncing around, um different wherevers and doing a bunch of stuff i have time to sit down and make videos i do school from home still this year and i'm planning to do that for the rest of high school um which is a really nice gig for me and it allows me to spend a lot of time um making videos and extra time and it, it, it's just it's just so great so um i have the next skyblock video that's going to come out either um the uh sometime between now and uh two weeks from now because of course i have to actually film what happened um but a lot a lot has happened since this video was filmed so it's going to be probably a really entertaining video definitely not near as long as this one this one was only so long because i had a lot of things to say after i left skyblock for like a year out of rage so uh thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video yes i have a lisp don't talk about it all right goodbye